Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the 7.2 PTR, where we're going to be looking at the new traits and how they're working. So essentially we're going to have a little bit of a reset for our weapon. The 35th trait is all you will get from this passive, and everything up to 54 will be refunded in artifact power. So you'll get all that back, and then you'll get to play with some new traits. To unlock this, you'll need to do a quest down on the Broken Shore. Killing stuff has a chance to spawn the quest, so it might take a few of you a little bit, but it shouldn't take too long. And then you go to see the Council of Six and Dalaran, go through the entire quest line, and eventually they will empower you. And basically it resets your artifact power. So we've got that passive trait here. Again, anything up to 54, you get refunded in artifact power. And if you're wondering about that damage buff and the, the stamina buff, that is coming back in this new trait, which is going to be a different name for pretty much everybody, but either way, it gives 10% damage, or your healing, or your tank specific, you know, bonus, and then your stamina back. So that's all rolled into one. Which also means if you're not at 54 before 7.2 launches, you're basically given 54. So that's a little bit of a catch-up mechanic there, I guess. So no need to worry, if you're really close to 7.2, you'll basically be given it for much cheaper if you kind of wait. So, I don't know. A nice catcher mechanic, definitely, for alts and anybody who doesn't get to 54. Just makes getting to 54 seem like a little bit of a waste. I don't know. But you get a bunch of new traits to go with this as well. So we'll learn that one, because we obviously need the damage back. And then we can see the next trait cost after that jumps straight up to 15 million. So you may be given 54 automatically, more or less, but you're still going to have to work a whole bunch to get the new traits after that, because straight up to 15 million is kind of crazy. But what we get is a new three-pointer, or four-pointer now. For Marksmanship Hunter, this increases the effectiveness of vulnerability by 10% and then 20, 30, 40, I would assume. And then we also get a one-pointer for Marksmanship. This is Aspect of the Cheetah, also grants you 50% dodge and immunity to snares. Hooray. And then we also get a gold. So we get a gold border trait as well. Now for us, this is Windburst. Now also snares and deals zero damage over until cancelled, which obviously isn't finished. A lot of the gold traits I know aren't finished, especially in the talent calculators that are popped up here, there and everywhere for the artifact weapons. So, you know, work in progress. And hopefully these are going to be really exciting to work towards. But 15 million. Hmm. We'll see about that. One other thing is that every three-point trait that we had before is now a four-point trait. So you can add another trait into every single one of those. So if you have something like Quick Shot for Marksman, which is pretty powerful, reduces the cooldown of True Shot, then that might be worth taking first over these new ones. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear that in mind. If you have some really powerful traits here, it's going to kind of change what you'll go for initially. But I think we'll play with the new ones for now. So we go 15 million. 16.5 million, 18 million, and I'm out of artifact power. Now, I'm not at 54 on this character. I copied it over a little bit ago, so I think I was around 45 or 46. So, obviously, you're going to have significantly more artifact and power refunded if you do get to the 54. So, you know, it's kind of time now or time then, depending on how you want to work it. But that artifact power cost might seem kind of crazy, but we're also getting artifact knowledge levels up to 40. And I know when you go from 25 to 26, that jump is so huge that it kind of makes 25 seem bad. So up to 40 is probably going to be absolutely ludicrous. And honestly, I think we're kind of dealing with silly numbers at this point. I don't think we really should have ever gotten to the point of requiring 18 million artifact power, considering the very first trait was 100. I think they may have gone a little too high too fast on that, but that's my personal opinion. So we have four new traits to work with. Again, the first one being your passive rolled into one so we don't lose any damage we don't lose any stamina and then everything else is kind of new we get a new point for everything with three points before so that could be incredibly powerful depending on your artifact we get a new four pointer a new one pointer and a new golden border which is hopefully going to be powerful because this is a lot of artifact power and if we're spending all this artifact power for a teeny weeny increase that's going to feel kind of lame so that's the new traits 
on 7.2, how they work, how you get them, and what they're currently looking like. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or hop on over to Discord, come join us on discord.gg slash Kalani, great place to ask questions or just hang out. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.